Hi guys, what's happening? Ian from cinemagoes.co.uk here and we're going to try something new. This is Cinebytes. In an interview with South by Southwest the other day, Patrick Wilson announced that he was going to be in the new and upcoming Edgar Wright version of Ant-Man. Patrick Wilson, who is no stranger to the superhero genre after his role in Watchmen, will be being someone. He's not said. He's actually been very tight-lipped about this. <laughs> the rumours that are flying around the internet are that he's going to be a younger version of Hank Pym alongside Michael Douglas. He mentioned that he'd read the script, he hasn't tried on a costume yet, and that his character is very important. And frankly, that's all the news we have. If you're interested in hearing these words from Patrick Wilson's own mouth, there's a video. Here, you can click that. A trailer came out of the blue the other day, just called Frank, and it's as weird as it looks. The film stars Michael Fassbender as Frank, only you wouldn't really know it because you're not going to see his face for possibly all of the film. The script is written by John Ronson and is based loosely off his memoirs written by Frank Sidebottom, a popular character from the early 80s or 90s who wore a really big mask as you can see. Frank Sidebottom was created by Chris Sivy and was very popular in the 80s and 90s in the northwest of England. That's where I'm from. It's quite popular here apparently. The film looks good though. I imagine this being something along the lines of a less angry version of Carl Urban in Dread. Your crimes are multiple homicide in the manufacture and distribution of narcotics. How do you plead? It was announced the other day that Liam Neeson, known for his roles in Taken and sadly Taken 2, uh, was once offered the role of James Bond. He said in an interview to the whole Daily Mail, look at the Daily Mail, that him and a few other actors were actually caught up for the role in the early 90s and it would have been a remake of the film Thunderball. That obviously never happened. But why did he turn down the role, you ask? Well, oh, it's kind of sweet. He said, My wife-to-be said that if you play James Bond, we're not getting married. And I had to take that on board because I did want to marry her. Oh, isn't that sweet? It is a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, all links to the stories I spoke about are down below in the flap. If you want more information, you can come to cinemagoers.co.uk or follow us on Twitter, at Cinemagoers. This was Cinebytes. We may make this a thing. See you around.